Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jagwe with another quick insight and today we're going to be talking about move.ai and I, today I'm doing just a, a, this a response to this uh, particular clip. Every now and then we talk about you know comparison of uh, motion capture suits and optical data uh, but in this case we're looking at uh, comparison between optical data on the left over here towards the front and move to AI over to the back. So what you're looking at here is eight cameras that are recording the move to AI data, right? And then you have 75 optical cameras in this volume right now. And that is a big, big difference, right? For the fraction of the price, right? That you're getting almost similar data of this uh, character going up and down the steps. That is very impressive. I think that's what makes uh, Move to AI revolutionary is that you're getting really, really good mock-up data uh, for far less than you would uh, invest in an optical system. So right now, as you may know, the price of uh, the price for Move to AI has been announced. So for three hundred and sixty-five dollars, this is a full year, by the way, guys, for that entire year, you're able to have access to the online platform which is a cloud-based uh, processing system that any, that you upload the videos to so if you're using like a cell uh, like cell phones in this case uh, iPhones uh, refurbished you're able to get data that uh, you can then download and use on a metahuman an icon character in blender you name it and so right now the data that you're looking at it just shows you the quality that you're able to get from eight. I believe this particular setup was using eight GoPros, but with the introduction of the new uh, pathway in Move.ai, you can use up to six refurbished iPhone eights to get really good uh, quality. And again, I'm gonna show you. There's a video that I'm working on of a, like a basketball themed video I'll be able to share with you but it's amazing how far the technology has come you know how we talk about using uh, like how uh, AI has really invaded almost every aspect of our artistic lives well uh, they're using artificial intelligence to be able to uh, get these eight videos from those eight cameras to be able to get the interpolation, capture not just the body, but also the finger articulation. So they, you don't have gloves on here. So what you see is the actor up in the in the background over here. The actor is using, uh, he's actually wearing the markers so that he can be captured, right, in this space. But, uh, the, and also, but he's not wearing a motion capture suit. They've also set up in the same space. They've set up the eight GoPros to capture this particular uh, sequence, and that's the data that you're getting. So I think it, this system is only going to get better and better. And we're living at a time when <laughs> technology is moving so fast, right? But look at that. It's very, very impressive to see the quality that you're able to get from Move.ai. So I think the days of motion capture suits are probably numbered. And I mean, there are some spaces, I mean, in cases where you definitely are going to use a motion capture suit, but where a space where you have a, a volume this size, you can do multiple people. So imagine having to spend like 10 XN suits or 10 Rococo suits or 10 Perception Neuron suits for a space where you could capture 10 people without a motion capture suit with like eight cameras or even like six, uh, uh, six iPhone 8, you know, refurbished. And actually you have you can act, use more than just iPhone 8. Any refurbished iPhone will be able to. Now I'm looking forward to when they are able to support Android phones because Android phones are way cheaper than iPhones for sure. But this is the day we're living in, guys, right? It's amazing. It's incredible what we're able to do even with our motion capture data without using motion capture suits. And this put side by side with optical is it's amazing. It's very, very impressive. And uh, I can I will continue sharing more and more uh, like case studies that I find, even for the ones that I test myself, so that you guys get a better idea of what kind of quality you're able to get. So not all of us are going to have a volume this this size, but even in your living room with uh, two iPhones or even three iPhones, four iPhones, you'll be able to get pretty good data 
it might not be as good as this but it will be usable for the kind of uh, work that you might be trying to do. like if you have a short film that you're trying to get and to to bring to life and you only have a like a small team you can definitely use mode.ai to bring that to to life and the cool thing is that it's you're not going to be worried about magnetism <laughs> for sure or drifting because all these are captured by the cameras that you see here now it's very important for you to wear clothing that are like colorful just like you see how they're wearing a red top and a blue bottom and make sure you don't wear black when you're doing when you're shooting with a move to the eye it's always preferred that you and preferably also have make sure your hands are clear so that they're not covered by long sleeved right so again thank you so much for joining me today if you're new to my channel i kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when i post a new video thank you so much to all my patrons do please consider becoming a patron and uh, as always stay safe dare to dream big never ever give up on your dream guys what a time to be alive right <laughs> it's amazing super amazing bye for now guys